Several years ago, we expanded the work of Warm Springs by helping communities throughout the country to raise money for the care of their own infantile paralysis cases. And through their generosity, to give financial help to the cause of research into the origin of the disease. Handsome, accomplished, and fun-loving, Franklin Roosevelt led a charmed life. Family wealth and social connections placed him among the nation's elite. A famous surname helped launch his political career. Not yet 40 years old, he had worked at the highest levels of American government and run for vice president. The presidency itself seemed within reach. But on August 10, 1921, everything changed. FDR spent a strenuous day sailing and swimming near his family's summer home on Campobello Island. Tired and feverish, he went to bed early, not realizing he was suffering the first symptoms of a polio attack. The attack left him permanently paralyzed below the waist. Eventually, he learned to stand and move using leg braces and crutches. He developed his arms, chest, and torso so he could appear to walk short distances in public, using a cane and gripping a companion's arm. Much of the therapy that led to these accomplishments took place at a center for treatment of polio patients that FDR established in Warm Springs, Georgia in 1927. He spent time there each year for the rest of his life. In 1934, FDR began using the occasion of his birthday to encourage Americans to support the Warm Springs Foundation with elaborate parties held each January. These parties were titled Birthday Balls. In 1938, he created the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis to support the Warm Springs Center and aid polio victims around the nation. The foundation urged Americans to send their loose change to the president in a March of Dimes. The March of Dimes, as the National Foundation became known, supported the research and development of a polio vaccine by Jonas Salk in 1955 that eradicated the disease throughout most of the world. The March of Dimes continues today and focuses on preventing premature birth and birth defects in babies born in the United States and around the world. Millions of babies and their families have benefited from the work of the March of Dimes since FDR created it over three quarters of a century ago.